Welcome back to Midwest Murders, Mysteries, and Myths. It was the 1930s, and a serial killer known as the Torso Murderer was on the loose. Viewer discretion is advised. In a time of promise and industry, an evil lurked within the shadows, leaving it as one of the most horrific unsolved murders in American crime history. They called it the era of mad butchers and headless horrors. From 1935 to 1938, the city of Cleveland was in the grip of fear. A period overshadowed by the Great Depression, gruesome killings involving dismembered bodies were found scattered across the city. Who was the twisted mind behind these horrific acts? An unidentified serial killer, struck terror in the hearts of the locals. Leaving behind a chilling trail of dismembered bodies, most of which were never identified. A majority of the victims were found in or close to the Kingsbury Run region, which was a creek bed that stretched between East 90th Street and Kinsman Road. The corpses of what was believed to be seven men and five women were found, with the victims having been beheaded. On September 23, 1935, two dismembered bodies were discovered. One of them was eventually identified by his fingerprints as Edward Androssi, a hotel clerk. Florence Polilo, the third victim, was discovered on January 26, 1936, along Orange Avenue. Nine additional bodies were found between June 1936 and August 1938. Investigating police officers concluded that the killings were conducted by a single person due to the surgical precision. Police Lieutenant Peter Marillo, who spent six years working on the case, described the murderer as a brutally efficient executioner and an unrelenting killer. Even though Frank Dolezal admitted to the Palilio murder, he hanged himself before going to trial. Despite intense police work, there was never enough proof to convict any other suspects. From the chilling letters sent to authorities to the baffling lack of evidence, the identity of the Cleveland Torso killer remains mystery that has puzzled detectives for decades. Despite the efforts of legendary lawman Elliot Ness, and the countless hours spent by the police, the identity of the murderer remained a mystery. Clues were scarce, leads ran cold, and the butcher seemed to always be one step ahead. With no witnesses and the brutal nature of the crimes, the city was on edge. Fear permeated every corner. The newspapers were rife with speculations, theories, and a desperate plea for answers. The torso murders were brought to an end by Ness's decision to have the shanty towns of Kingsbury run burned to the ground. To this day, the identity and motivations of the Cleveland Torso murderer remain one of the greatest unsolved mysteries in the annals of crime. Thanks for watching.